Uh, this is John again, the inventor of the volumetric wind turbine. Uh, what I want to demonstrate here is the, the possibility of manufacture of, of large volumetric wind turbines. Uh, the blade you see in front of you, uh, in front of the, the model, uh, is manufactured in sections on a very small uh, 3D printer. The surface of that 3D printer is uh, this square, basically. Uh, it's 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters. Now, if you had a industrial sized uh, 3D printer, say a cubic meter or more, uh, imagine what you could build. This uh, blade is about uh, two foot, uh, for a four foot diameter wind turbine. I could possibly make a wind turbine uh, out of this and I probably would and it would generate electricity. But uh, what is interesting to me is that you can create this sectioned blade and what it will do is that this sectioning will actually create um, strength at these particular spots along the blade. So, and I also put a piece of um, a panel of carbon fiber running through the middle. It'll show you can make a uh, composite type blade, uh, which would you know give it plenty of strength. I mean, it's I'll break the PLA, but uh, it is it's pretty strong given the fact that it's not very heavy and. Uh, made of lightweight material. The, you can possibly make it out of a typical polyethylene like you make out of, like they make out of canoes and kayaks and playground equipment, uh, which would lower the cost of manufacture considerably. Uh, because of the uh, volumetric shape, because of the, the dome-like shape of this uh, a turbine, uh, it has an a inherent strength that the typical uh, hot HAWT horizontal axis wind turbine blades do not have because of their long, slender, uh, straight shape. They tend to wobble and wag in the wind. This will not do that. This would be a very rigid structure. Anyway, that's my two cents for possible manufacture of this type of blade. Thank you.